Imagine if you could take in all of human history in the blink of an eye. Well, from the first steps out of the slime to the first steps on the moon. That's exactly where we are in cosmic terms, but in that short amount of time, we've done quite a bit. What would you see if you traveled one billion years into the past? Did Earth ever look like a giant slush ball? How far back would you have to go to see the first humans? And are we already going extinct? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you went one billion years into the past. In a sense, we're all time travelers. We travel into the future at the rate of one second per second. But if you want to go backward in time, you'll need to go faster than the speed of light. That's according to Einstein. Or maybe your time machine would jump through wormholes. A hypothetical tunnel that connects two different points in space-time. However you decide to travel through the jumbled mess of time, you'll see the effects and then the causes of the most powerful forces that shaped our world. You might leave wondering, how many times did the Earth freeze? As you watch history unfold or refold or whatever, you might be surprised at the toll humanity has taken on this planet in such a short amount of time. If you start in 2021 and move backward, you would watch the sixth mass extinction event happening right now. Known as the Holocene extinction, we are currently living through one of the most destructive periods of our time, caused by human activity. As humans destroy coral reefs and rainforests, the numerous wildlife and plants that depend on these ecosystems die with them. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, 67% of endangered species could be extinct in 100 years. And since most of these extinctions are undocumented, we won't even know about what we've lost until it's gone. Maybe not even then. Visit the 18th and 19th centuries and you could watch the pollution created by the Industrial Revolution reversed back into the smokestacks. Cities would shrink down and return to their roots as rural farmlands. While this would let you see the explosion of the human race in terms of population and pollution, if you want to retrace our first steps, you'll need to go back farther. Tour the planet 200,000 years ago, and you would witness the arrival of our species, the Homo sapiens. Jump back 7 million years to northern Chad, and the oldest known species of humans could stroll right by you. Known as the Sialanthropus chidensis, this mysterious link in our chain looked ape-like, but was the first to walk upright. He seems friendly enough. If you think you have challenges now, imagine living during this age. You'd need the skills these early humans learned to survive, and you'd need them fast. But if you sign up with The Great Courses Plus, you can make this year, whatever that is, yours by learning with a purpose. With top experts in their fields taking deep dives into a wide range of subjects, there's something for everyone. If you're spending time with our primitive ancestors, you might want to take the Outdoor Fundamentals course covering everything from preparation to navigation. Or maybe introduction to paleontology to mentally prepare you to meet the Spinosaurus, the largest carnivore to ever walk the Earth. Well, you can watch or listen to these lectures on any device, anywhere, with the Great Courses Plus app. Visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash what if to get a 14-day trial with unlimited access. That's thegreatcoursesplus.com slash what if. You won't have a chance to go back in time to get this deal, and if you don't study up, you might not make it past the Jurassic era. But travel to 60 million years ago, and you'll see the first primates emerge from the humid rainforests of Asia. Okay, step back to 65 million years ago, 
and you'd find yourself under the giant asteroid that created a global extinction event. The impact caused a tsunami and filled the air with dust and debris. The crash also set off massive volcanic eruptions across the world. With the sun blacked out and the land flooding, the last of the dinosaurs died out. But without this event, mammals like us may never have taken over the planet. Go back 130 million years and you'll see the first flowers bloom. As you travel 200 million years back in time, you'll witness the breakup of Pangaea, the mass of land that will become the continents. As the land breaks apart, the lava eruptions will be so massive, they kill almost 80% of the species on Earth. Okay, keep going back another 20 million years and watch the first early mammals, small and nocturnal, crawl around in the dark. And if you go back to 230 million years ago, you could watch the early dinosaurs walk for the first time on two legs. Before that can happen though, the Earth has to go through what would be known as the Great Dying, also called the Permian Extinction. 95% of all species on Earth died. But you could also watch the Earth's land masses come together to form Pangaea. Now you could take a walk from Argentina to China, but things get interesting around 375 million years ago. You would watch marine animals walking onto land for the first time. Maybe you would see a tiktaalik, which looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. This strange creature would later evolve into mammals and amphibians. But just like every species you saw before, this growth doesn't happen without a cost. And now, we're at the first extinction event. The Ordovician extinction occurs when ice sheets spread from the polar caps into the oceans. Almost 70% of all sea life died off during this planet-wide freeze over 460 million years ago. Okay, keep going back and you could see how life started underwater. Called the Cambrian Explosion, the lineage of most of the species on our planet today can be traced back to this milestone. But scientists are still unsure how this unique event happened. Between 635 and 850 million years ago, the Earth froze over twice. Once for almost 60 million years and the next time for 15 million years. One theory suggests that the Earth was only covered in a thin film of ice, allowing the sun's rays to seep through and plant the seeds of life below. But go back one billion years in history and you'll be surprised to find, well, not a lot. During this time, red algae are forming spores to reproduce. Cells are coming together to form larger organisms. Life on Earth is microscopic and not very threatening. But nothing has been more vicious to our planet in such a short amount of time as humans. But Maybe humans will set things right eventually. There could be a change in our planet or our hearts that might set our future on a different path. Or maybe like the dinosaurs and Neanderthals, we would just be replaced by something else. So let's take our time machine and find out. What if you traveled one billion years into the future? Well, that's a story for another What If.